Hey Legends, I hope you're all fantastic. We have the new Source Audio Nemesis on the bench today, which has added several new modes, as well as the much requested feature of having analog dry through. I'm gonna run through some factory presets and dial in some of my own tones on here. I'll do my best to showcase everything that you can get instant access to just by using the pedal itself. Of course, you can get access to Source Audio's Neuro Editor in here and really dive deep and far beyond what you can grab on the pedal. Having said that, I feel like I should probably let you hear this over a little jam track with a big greasy lead tone because there are some stunning stereo delays in here. Let's hear that and then we'll go mode by mode and preset by preset. <laughs> Let's start off by hearing a few factory presets in here. The controls are fairly self-explanatory on here. The only one to really pay attention to on each mode is going to be the intensity control over here. That will change its function based on the mode that you set with the large center knob over here. Another thing worth mentioning, if you are playing in stereo, you can set the stereo offset by holding down the little button on the back of the pedal and twisting the time knob to a few different offsets in there. I've just left it at the factory settings. Let's hear my PRS DGT on the neck pickup tapped. I'm using the ODS clean in my Axe FX3 and I'm running in stereo. <laughs> Okay, so that's using the analog mode. I don't really feel the need to tweak that one at all. That sounds beautiful. Let's just press the select button over here and we will go to the next factory preset. <laughs> Okay, so that's with the new oil can mode on there. That one is dark and dreamy. Let's go to the third factory preset, which is using the tape. The intensity control on the tape mode is basically gonna change the saturation character on there. <laughs>
So you can sweep that tape from really dark to really bright and add a lovely amount of wobble in there with the modulation controls. Next up, we have this Helix mode in here. I think it's best to just listen to this one rather than try to describe it. <laughs> Now you still have access to all the original modes of the Nemesis via the editor or by exploring some of the presets on here. So this is the fifth factory preset. To me, it sounds like it's using the sweeper delay, which is one that I know a lot of people loved with the original Nemesis. <laughs> Factory preset number six is using the drum echo. The intensity control here is going to select between a bunch of different rhythmic patterns. So I'll start with it all the way down and we'll just have a listen to what they do. That's just a couple of factory presets in there. There's actually about a hundred factory presets and you can access them with MIDI. There's actually full size MIDI jacks on here, MIDI in on the right hand side and MIDI through on the left. So you don't have to muck around with TRS to MIDI cables, which is something I very much appreciate. All right, let's start off with a few of the more straightforward modes. I'm still running in stereo, but I've set it up so that the second tap is perfectly in sync with the first tap. So we should be able to hear the modulation on a few modes, give us a really nice widening effect. Uh, this is the way I would go about setting up a few different delays. Let's start out with a basic rhythmic delay. So I have the switch set to the dotted eighth note on there. I can tap in the tempo. I'm on the digital mode with the intensity control in the middle. So this will just be a flat crystal clear digital delay. We get this. <laughs> Let's add a little bit of modulation to that. I'm going to go with a slow rate and I'll just bring the mod control up to about 11 o'clock. Have a listen in stereo to what this does to the stereo image. <laughs> change the tone of that digital delay with the intensity control. I generally like my delays a little bit darker, so I will just turn this down a little bit. Let's have a listen.
That's super sweet. I really like the way the modulation is voiced on there and like a lot of digital delays, it's nice being able to either add in a bit of a high cut or a bit of a low cut on there. That's what the intensity control does. You can set this up with different rhythmic subdivisions if that's something you want to do. All right, let's do this. Let's go over now to the diffuse mode. And I wanna set up a dual delay with some dirt on here. So what I'm gonna do is hold down the little button on the back of the pedal and I will twist this time control in here. This is gonna set up my second tap on the stereo delay to be three quarters of the main value or a dotted eighth note. So I'll go back and set the tap switch to a quarter note. I'll tap in my delay. I'm gonna bring the mix down just a little bit. This intensity control now is gonna control the amount of diffusion or kind of like fluffiness of the delays. <laughs> That is beautiful. That reminds me of old school rack delays right there with that bit of diffusion smearing everything out. I've got a quarter note delay on one side, a dotted eighth note delay on the other side. And I'm very, very happy with that. What I might actually do there is just tap in a slightly slower tempo so you can all hear that with a slightly longer delay or bring the mix up just a little bit. And you know what? A bit more feedback can't hurt. A little bit more modulation, but with a slower rate. Let's try this. <laughs> I'm loving that stereo tap on there. Let's hear similar settings, but with the analog mode now, we'll keep it greasy. <laughs> That is good, that is good. We need to hear that with a tape delay now. I've just turned the intensity down, which is going to basically make all the repeats on there a little bit darker with more grease. Let's get super weird now and do a dual reverse delay on here. Again, with heaps of dirt, why not?
Let's try the shifter mode next with a clean sound. You can select between a few different intervals. Cranking it all the way up is gonna give you an octave. You can have a fifth up, you can have some thirds, and of course an octave down on there. <laughs> Let's just hear a few more of the modes accessible from the front panel. I'm going to start with the resonant mode. kind of lo-fi wobble about it. Let's try the noise tape. And I'm gonna go with a really short delay time on here. Again, I'll add a bit of modulation. I'll crank the mix up on here. Again, there's another really nice lo-fi mode. dedicated slapback mode in here so you can really fine tune the echoes with the time knob. <laughs> You hear some more of that drum echo. I've got the intensity control just below noon on here. This is my favorite setting with this one. <laughs> Thank you. 
stumps right there. Thank you to the Source Audio team for sending me one of these in advance to make this video. It was a real pleasure to actually finally check out a Nemesis in here. It has been one of the few delay units that has eluded me. And after playing this version, you know, it seems like they've taken a great idea and only made it better by adding new modes in there. I think if you're into your vintage delays, the oil can and the drum echo are really going to be enjoyable on there. For a rack nerd like me, having the diffuse delays and the different stereo tap options are absolutely beautiful. Everything on here is really easy to use and dial in. And once you kind of find your favorite settings in there, it's kind of fun to just twist this mode knob and go to outer space with different modes on there. So I can kind of see why the original Nemesis has become a classic in the multi mode delay genre out there. It's definitely up there with things like the timeline. In fact, when I think of kind of super delays, if you want to call them, the first two that come to mind would probably be the timeline and the nemesis, maybe throw the eventide time factor or H9 in there as well. But it's a beautiful thing. If you like the original nemesis and you always wish it had analog dry through, I think you're definitely going to want to grab one of these. And plus you get the extra modes in there. If you're looking for a new all-in-one multiple purpose delay, for your pedal board that has functions like MIDI, tap tempo, different rhythmic subdivisions, and the ability to dive deep with the extra software editor. This should be right at the top of your list. There's a lot of functions on here that I personally feel should be standard. For example, the MIDI inputs and outputs, which stuff like say the Universal Audio Starlight or Delverb don't have. There's the instant access to all the modes and all the parameters on here again, which some pedals like maybe say an H9 or an H90 don't give you that immediate access. You either have to menu dive or use the app. But then if you do want to menu dive or use the app, you can go beyond things like say the Strymon timeline. So I think Source Audio are onto a winner here. I would love to hear from all of you. How did you like the tones? Are you an original Nemesis user who is looking to upgrade to this one? Or are you just somebody who loves delays and you've got a bunch of other great delays and you want to add another one? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you want to support me directly, check the links in the video description. Have a great one. I'll see you next time.